Welcome back, All Sports West New York special Easter edition. We're out here at the Broadway Market. I have with me the VP GM of the Buffalo Bisons, a nice Polish boy, Mike Buczkowski. And Mike, last year we had you here at the market, and while we were setting up, you actually got some shopping done today. Yeah, you have to get some butter lambs. You can't come to the Broadway Market without getting some butter lambs. And uh, when we're finished here, I'll pick up a few more things, I think. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about Mike's Polish traditions in a minute. But first, uh, I want to talk about the Bisons because the Bisons are off to a pretty good start, although uh, and not maybe not the weekend you expected. Yeah, we uh, we did. We got off to a good start. Won our first four. We were playing uh, every other day because of the rain, not only in Buffalo but on the road. And uh, hopefully now we're going to start to see the the warm up coming and uh, get into the regular routine. And uh, as we head towards uh, the end of April and May, looking forward to having a great summer. You know. Uh Triple-A baseball, uh, minor league baseball, you're always at the mercy of the baseball gods in that if there's an injury at the level above you, you can end up losing one of your better players. Uh, usually it happens well into the season, but it can happen right off the bat because depending on who got injured in, tr in spring cha training, you may lose a kid who you, know, you would have thought would have been with you but goes up to the majors. A absolutely, and we the, the very first at bat this year for the Blue Jays, Jose Reyes, their star shortstop, first inning, opening day, hits a line drive, and running you know around in first base pulls a hamstring he's been on the disabled list and so Jonathan Diaz was going to be our shortstop looking forward to seeing him he started the year in Toronto but uh, hopefully uh, the Jays will stay injury free that was a big problem for them last year a lot of injuries we benefited in a little way because Jose Reyes came to Buffalo and played a few games we had right. some of their pitchers on rehabilitation but uh, you don't want to have too many of those because uh, uh, when, when they make a move and, and send a guy to Buffalo and call a guy up, it's pretty much a wash usually. But when they have injuries and we lose guys and don't get players back from the big leagues, that's what can make it tough on our roster. Last year, you hook up with the Blue Jays. Immediately, you saw a difference in attendance. Uh, we talked about uh, the poutine, which uh, was uh, the Canadian uh, delicacy that was there at the concession stands. But uh, have you seen a, a follow-up to last year as far as the crowds and the support from the across the border? We have. It's still uh, uh, the weekend games uh, that were that were nice. We get a lot of Canadian fans that are coming down. Uh, our ticket package sales in Canada preseason were very strong. We did a we had a great year last year, and most of them renewed. We're seeing new customers coming. I think word of mouth the spreading around especially as you get closer to Toronto that you know it's a short drive a lot of the Canadians are already coming here to shop they're already coming here for the theaters and a hotel and now they get to see the future Toronto Blue Jays their team so uh, we see a lot of hotel packages fans coming and staying uh, for a couple of games they love the prices of minor league baseball they love the value uh, our ballpark is a lot different than Toronto's you know they're in a dome artificial turf or natural grass open air so they like that contrast and uh, we're hoping that we're going to continue to grow our fan base in southern Ontario. Speaking of the, of the stadium you know uh if you're somebody like me, you tend to live in the past sometimes, and on my All Sports uh, WNY website, got a great page about the opening of Pilot Field, but I was really shocked uh, over a week ago to pick up the newspaper and the talk about possibly a new stadium for the Bisons. I mean, I guess in hindsight, what, 1988? Yeah, 20, 27 years, the 27th season. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, what we're hoping to do is just continue to make Coca-Cola Field a, a great place. It does need some work. It's been through 27 Buffalo winters. The seats are 27 years old. The heating, the cooling system, a lot of stuff that fans don't even see in a ballpark are all right. you know, approaching 30 years old and need to be maintained. Need, and a lot of uh, uh, cases need to be replaced and updated with new technology. And uh, we've done a good job with it. Mayor Brown and the Common Council have been great in supporting some of those projects. But now we think we need to, to do a, some bigger scale projects. It's time to look at that entire ballpark, including the seating, including the capacity. You know, it's 18,000 seats. It was built to be expanded for Major League Baseball. It's the biggest uh, stadium in minor league baseball. So we probably want to look at reducing the capacity somewhat and, and uh, keeping it a great place for uh, Western New Yorkers and Southern Ontario fans to come for for the next uh, generation you know the exterior still looks great and uh, and I understand I and I know uh, I saw a feature with the uh, John Dandies your president talked about the boiler system as the original boiler system and the technology has changed so much uh, there's such you know many more energy efficient ways of doing things but uh, it's still a great ballpark and it just seems like literally to me yesterday the excitement over opening that uh, it was the, the jewel of minor league baseball yeah it still is and uh, I, I saw a stat that uh, since our ballpark opened there's been 125 new minor league just minor league baseball parks and that's that's incredible we're the oldest ballpark in our league now 27 years uh, later 
uh, War Memorial Stadium. We played there 50 years, so we're past the halfway mark of what War Memorial Stadium was for uh, uh, for baseball and football at the time. But yeah, you're right. It's still great. We have great ownership that's invested millions of dollars of, of, of Bob and Minnie into their own money for scoreboards and for food service and restaurants and fan amenities. And uh, it's been a great partnership. Hopefully we're going to be able to work with our, our governments to do something that is uh, great for our community and keeps it as the jewel of downtown Buffalo. Mike, uh, you know, a, a personal question. Uh, how have you been able to tolerate John Dandies for 27 years? <laughs> You know, you just got to look the other way a lot of times. <laughs> you got to ignore a lot of stuff. You know, if you're good at ignoring stuff, then... Uh, well, I, I wrote something on the website the other day about the two of you. And you guys, I mean, you seriously do have a great relationship. You're like brothers. Yeah. Uh, and John is unique. If John were here today, he'd have a comment about each and every individual stand. Uh, and usually not very positive. But uh, I guess deep down, he really is a good guy. Yeah, and he'd be contrasting Passover to Easter, right. you know, with his Jewish heritage. We'd be hearing all about that. So uh, he really is. He's, uh, you know, I learned a lot from him, you know, when, when I started his expertise. And, and uh, we've worked well together. And I think uh, if you don't have a good relationship and spend that much time together, you'd be, yeah. we'd be in a lot of trouble. Okay, we talked at the top. You uh, did some shots. Shopping. What uh, what can we expect at the Buczkowski household on Easter Sunday? <laughs> well, you know, I, our Polish traditions, of course, on Easter. My mom's all Irish, uh, but it seems to be the Easter times more of the Pol Polish tradition. My grandmother would have everything that is here at the Broadway Market uh, back in the day, and uh, the, from the sausages to the to the pierogies to the butter lambs, uh, you know, the sweet uh, treats that are all around and. Uh, uh, I, I remember just going, She lived. they lived upstairs, my grandma and grandfather, and you'd start walking up the steps and that smell of Easter was incredible. And uh, you'd leave there barely being able to walk because you had so much food for Easter. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some more shopping here and see what we can bring home. Mike, it's always great. Uh, I want to wish you a blessed Easter and say hello to our pal John Dandies. I uh, wish him a, a happy Passover. Uh, and, you know, just enjoy the holiday. Okay, you too, Bob. Thanks. Hey, when we come back, we're going to be with Bernadette Pollock. She's going to be talking about the Dingus Day Parade right after this.